that you knew that saying that would get as a much attention as it did. No. Were I, you surprised? I was definitely, you know, surprised. But hey, you know, I've been in this industry for such a long time, and I know that some things can be taken out of context. Yeah. So it is what it is. It is, what it is. Yeah. So, have you being alone has been the most challenging part of my divorce. It's times like this when I feel and wish that my sister and I were still close and I could, you know, pick up the phone and call her. But that's just not where we are right now. Here, Maury has come to clarify the news about her not being close to her twin sister, Tamara. She says she was referring to physical distance as they no longer live close in proximity to each other. But you guys, are the folks on the street buying this explanation? It's giving medicine after death. So you guys, the internet has been shaken since the first look of Tia Mori's new TV reality show Tia Mori My New Act was released. Yet yeah, in her social media promos kit, she talked about not being close to her sister and wishing she could pick up her phone to give her a call. Well in a statement to Us Weekly, Tia Mori clarified that she was referring to the strain that physical distance has put on the relationship with her sister. Tia said that while she lives in Los Angeles along with her brother Taj and her father Timothy, Tamara and her husband live in Nepal. In her statement she said, I love my sister very much, she loves me very much. We have a closeness and a beautiful connection. But that's what that was all about, it's just how life unfolds and it happens with many families. So you guys, of course we all understand that dynamic, siblings get older and they live in different states, sometimes even different countries, but from what Tia Mari said on her show, it didn't exactly look like she was talking about physical distance. You know, I've been in this industry for such a long time, and I know that some things can be taken out of context. Yeah. So it is, it is what it is. Yeah. It's a good but, uh, Have you had a chance to speak with her since that time? Uh, oh, I mean, definitely. Yeah. And she, you know, agreed that it was, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. And the public, they don't seem to be buying this. Here are what folks on the street had to say about your Maury's response to her statement from her reality show. This user says, I get they're trying to save face, but she was specifically referring to not being able to call her sister because they weren't as close. Another user says, her mama called her and said, don't be talking about your sister to these people. Another user says, I thought she said she wished she could pick up the phone and call her though. And another one says, but didn't she say she wishes she could pick up the phone and call or am I tripping? And this user says, girl, it's okay. You're not the only sister who's not close to their sister like they used to be. If you're embarrassed, change the situation. And this user says, Tia, don't piss us off. Another user says, but you said you couldn't pick up the phone and call her. From the response, most people are like, Tia, this is giving medicine after that. Like, just own up to it. Like, embrace it with your full chest. You said what you said. You, you guys are not close. If that is the reality, it is what it is. You know, like one of the commenters says, it happens in every home. Personally, I'm not as close to my sister as I used to be because we share different value and everything but it is what it is it doesn't mean i don't love her or she doesn't love me we're just not as close wish that my sister and i were still close and this user says prayers tia go to napa it's a 1.5 hours flight have some wine and girl time with your sister you have the means to do this maybe a once a year we can get away for you too would be great or even a one day meetup that's not about work you still need each other well what this user is saying is very correct it's true of course they both have the means to link up but i i don't think this is just about having the means i think it's it's a lot of dynamics going on here because the users on social media have been highlighting what they thought the problem was that have led to Tia Mori and her sister Tamara Mori Housley not being close anymore. And folks have gone back all the way to their show. During your wedding, I felt left out. Honestly, Tia, throughout the entire wedding process, you were nowhere to be found. I don't see her for most of my wedding weekend, and now she's telling me I did something wrong. Are you kidding me, Tia? Wait, wait, I know you as wait. being selfish all the time, so no, that's not how I... No. I know you as being no. selfish. Uh, anyway, my agent just said that a network was really interested in doing a show with I both know. of us. 
I heard about that too. And I was working on my end to make it happen because mm -hmm. I was already talking to this woman. So how come we didn't have the meeting? Because we were waiting on you. You were busy. So how come you didn't pick up the phone and talk to me about this then? Like if you're having an issue or if you want, you know, to make a point, just call me. And people believe that Tiara is the problem because first off, she's been separated from her husband and now her sister. We all know Tia has said several times in an interview about wanting to be in alone, being her own person because she has always shared everything with her sister, being a twin, her life, the stage, the spotlight, their career with her sister. And now that she is not as close to her sister, she's, she's coming public to talk about being lonely, especially in the time of her divorce, where she could have been close to her sister and pick up and, you know, have her support during this time. Again, there's a lot of dynamics to what would have caused the strain in their relationship. People are drawing it all the way back to when Tia Mori announced her divorce. The same day, the same day her sister launched her new book and people didn't quite like it because it kind of drowned the whole success and publicity that her sister's book would have gotten. So her sister was going on a book tour talking about her twin sister's divorce because the interviewers wanted to know how Tia was doing. And for some of those interviews, Tamara spoke in the defense of her sister. She didn't throw any shade to the husband, but from what she said, it looks like her sister was more important to her and her sister's peace, sister's choice is what is most important to her. However, Tia Mori did not only announce her divorce, she went on a media tour talking about her divorce. The reasons for the divorce was not given, but she said she graduated from her marriage. I knew when I really started to focus on my happiness. Um, I had actually, you know, lost my grandmother. We had lost Elena Housley mm -hmm. and both of them at the same time, it, there was just an aha moment in me where I said, you know what? You need to tap in, see what's really going on with your happiness. Life is short. Let's go. Let's start working on you and really focusing on what really, really matters here, which is at the end of the day, your peace, your joy, and your happiness. So from Tia's explanation, she walked out of her marriage to choose her happiness. Perhaps she wasn't happy in her marriage and Therapy couldn't save it, nothing could save it, so she chose her happiness and she walked out on her marriage. But from Tia's current state and how she's been acting on social media, it looks like she did not give the decision real hard thought how it's going to affect her, her children, the people around her, even her ex-husband, and most importantly herself. As much as Tia tried to show so hard that she's free, she's happy in her social media posts and TikTok talk post it always gave the undertone like she's really struggling to navigate her new life as a divorced single mom but at what point did her sister get into this cube personally i thought they were doing good because while tamara was going for her book tour she spoke well about her sister there was nothing from her interview comments that showed that their relationship was off even though people were talking about tia being selfish for announcing her divorce that doesn't have any urgency on the same day her sister released her book but tamara did not give any hint as to what her state of mind was for what tia did but the moment people started to notice that there's something going off with your relationship was when tamara talked about finding out with the rest of the world the same time when tia announced that she was starting her personal reality show she has returned to reality tv uh, i know I didn't know until you I did. found out what built the rest of the world. Any chance we'll see you on there? Uh, she didn't ask me. She didn't. So I take that as... Shot. No. <laughs> You're like, then now we're again. No, she's like, this is my story. Right. And, you know, I can only respect that. Of course. Yeah. Can I ask, are you and Adam trying to set her up on any dates or anything? Are you guys playing Cupid at all? See, this is the thing. Tia is living her life right now, and Tia is doing Tia. I feel like she doesn't want any of our, our input right now and that's and i can only respect that so i think uh she is doing her you know her better than anybody so no, you're like i'm yeah, not going i just i'm respecting that what tamara rightly said tia is doing tia and i feel like she doesn't want any input in her life and she is giving her the needed space that she needs so she can do her and whatever she finds important to her at the moment which is tears happiness so i believe it's probably why tamara stepped back we do not know for sure what happened behind closed doors the conversation between them this is her twin sister she knows her better than anybody else and tia may have made her point known to her family that she's always going to do her regardless of their comment their advice and so probably tamara is deciding to step 
back. However, when Tamara made that statement, everyone gave the side eye like, hey, you're starting a reality show and you did not let your sister know. And now it's giving double standard because how would you not let your sister know? But the first highlight, the first public highlight or the first promotional video from your reality show, it's about your sister. It's like, you're not gonna include her, you're not gonna tell her about it, but you're gonna market your show with your sister. Like, make it make sense, guys. Another way most people noticed that there's a strain in your relationship was when Tia joined the Mooney Long Twin Challenge. When she did a challenge in the comments, a lot of people were like, this is the real twin. Oh, for some reason, we expected to see Tamara. But she did a twin challenge with her kids, Cree and Cairo. And also from that moment, folks started to wonder. There was no content between Tia and her sister. Tamara was doing her own thing, finding self-love, traveling with her family for vacation, and just doing her own stuff. And Tia was also doing her own stuff. There was no content about them and people began to speculate. And of course, from the first highlight from Tia's show, it gave the confirmation that their relationship is strained. But now via Us Weekly, Tia has tried to clear the air that is now what people think. She loves her sister very much and her sister loves her very much. She was just talking about distance. But you all saw the comments from the public. They're not buying it and it's giving medicine after death. I feel like Tia needs to take some time off. She's someone who's big on meditation. She's big on therapy. I feel like she needs to do more inner workings, maybe through her therapy, if they're really telling her the truth and not just taking her fat check. Because from what folks are saying, Tia complaining about her marriage to find her happiness, even though there was no real public reason as to why she left. Definitely there would be reason, maybe feeling on love, maybe feeling the burden of the home. Maybe her husband is not emotionally available. Definitely there are reasons, but there was no public reason as to infidelity, abuse. The reasons was not given, but she did throw her ex under the bus because where bloggers and folks were talking about him not taking financial responsibilities. She liked those posts. She commented on some and people were coming for Corey. But all this time, Corey never said anything about her. He never entertained any interview until recently where he did a Tyler Perry movie and started going for interviews. And of course, folks will ask about his marriage. He has never said anything negative. I don't know what's going on with Tia, but I hope and pray that she finds the peace that she really desire. Sometimes guys, when a woman is going through this phase, sometimes people say it could be hormonal, menopause, but sometimes it's just you finding something that is real and that you can truly find in Christ. Tia and Tamara, they were both raised in a Christian home. Tamara leaned more closely to a Christian side. Tia is more of a free thinker. She has said it several times, but I feel like she needs to go back to her roots. She needs to go back to her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and only there she can find the peace that she needs. She cannot find that love, that peace in her husband. She cannot find that love, that peace in her sister. She cannot even find it in herself. She can only find it in God. She is having a strained relationship from her husband now, her sister. Hopefully she doesn't turn against herself wondering if she's self-sabotaging her happiness, you know, wondering if she's her own problem. But I feel like her solution is in God. Some of y'all may not like to hear this because you're probably all atheists or free thinkers. But hey, this is what I believe in and this is what I've experienced. True peace only comes from God. But what are your thoughts on all of these things? Tia's response to what she said on her show. Y'all think she said all of that for ratings? Y'all think her sister is probably in the loo that she was going to say that to help her show grow? Or do y'all really think indeed that your relationship is strained? Even all the clips you saw from your previous show and all of that. You guys share your thoughts in the comment section. You know I love to hear your thoughts and opinion. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video and until the next one remember to pray work out work smart and slay bye bye